I'm a visual artist and my practice focuses on object making, photography, and video. I think I came reluctantly to the documentation because I was, really saw myself as an object maker. Uh, and it took not a huge shift, but, but initially there was a shift in, in, in thinking about what my practice was and uh, allowing these other sort of disciplines to filter in. So I make the objects and then I use them as props in the videos and images. Uh, and then uh, in the end, usually what happens is the images videos and objects are installed together. Um, so I see the images sort of giving a context for the objects and the objects themselves I think have a physicality to them so that uh, maybe the viewer relates to their own body to them rather than the, the body that's imaged in the videos or photographs. My work has referenced uh, a lot of historic photographs and and objects. I'm interested in uh, medical photography. And then more recently, I've been looking at historic objects and using those as reference uh, for the objects that I'm building. In addition to producing the photographs, I'm also the performer in all of them. Uh, and there's a couple reasons that I do that. One is it's, it's um, I will sort of perform indefinitely until I get the shot I want. Uh, I also, in, in my more recent work, have been doing a lot of sort of athletic training in, in preparation for the kinds of images and videos I'm making. So um, the work that I'm doing at Bemis will likely include uh, some trapeze work and some aerial rope work. And so I've been practicing for about a year and then more directly practicing for, for these specific shoots while I've been at, at Bemis. The reason that I've been drawn to athleticism in my work is it's something that I enjoy doing in my life. And even though they don't look necessarily dynamic, uh, there is a degree of control uh, that's necessary for them. And I, and I really find that challenging and engaging. I'm interested in materials like fabric, metal, ceramic because of its proximity to the body and its use in functional and wearable objects. So for me that's a really logical uh, material vocabulary to pull from. One of the exciting things about Bemis is the space and the facilities. I really got drawn to the ceramic facilities and as an opportunity to try something new in that arena. Um, Living in Detroit, there's a, there is an opportunity for me to work in an in a industrial space for, for installations and things like that. So, uh, you know, I felt like, like that could be put on hold, but, but having the, the technical support and the facilities to do the ceramic work was really, uh, really drew me when I got here, and that's sort of been the, the tack that I chose. <laughs> Being a little more advanced in my career, sort of like late emerging, whatever it is, um, you don't necessarily have consistent community or feedback. And I think, I don't know, I think just being in a communal space with some privacy, I, but, but knowing other people are there and, and working, I mean, it's really energizing. You don't feel alone in your studio. There's, you know, there's other people engaged in a similarly challenging activity. And even though you're not sort of in the same space working together necessarily, just knowing that, you know, having that kind of um, camaraderie through the wall is like, is, is pretty, pretty amazing.